Uh, so in Mexico, the venture capital market doesn't really exist in the proper sense, in the way it does in the U.S. And you find that in most places in emerging markets, the venture capital model, that's in, in the way that it's used in the U.S., doesn't, doesn't apply or cannot be applied, simply because there, um, there's limited access to capital, and more importantly, there's limited ac exit opportunities for these businesses. So, you know, there's not really a thing of such a, you know, in terms of M&A activity, in terms of buying and selling companies or uh, IPO opportunities for these companies is very limited. So it's difficult for an investor to put money into a company um, or make a portfolio of companies and, you know, get his money back in that way. So basically what an entrepreneur needs to do in these kinds of uh, companies, you know, barring some sort of strange financial mechanism is find uh, some sort of angel investor and there are a lot of, of angel investors in, in emerging markets and you know pitch him the idea and say like hey I know you have money that's why I'm coming to see you but uh, I have this great idea for a business and you know let me let's talk about it and let me show you what it's all about because that's how I, this business is, was started in Mexico so I've I found an angel investor who was very interested in agricultural issues uh, he also is very interested in the social issues around agriculture. Um, so he made a very concerted effort to put his investments into social, um, into the social area of agriculture because he saw it as the part that most needed his help in Mexico. And so he made an investment um, decision on that basis, partially for obviously business reasons, partially for social reasons.